I want to make a little update about my art installation here, which I'm building for Burning Man. Right now I'm working on the software that will power it, and I've spent the whole day digging through and making sure that it works. I'm almost there. I'm not 100% there, but I have the main elements working. I just need to make sure that they work together. So one of the first and most important parts is to have the detection of devices working. The premise of the installation is to detect when people are around, people that have phones or tablets or any Wi-Fi devices, and turn it off for those people. It's kind of a, a way to ensure that you're pure, that you're there in the moment and they're in the present. So the method that I'm doing, that I'm using for that is to detect wireless devices. And this is uh, actually some of the code that I've been writing. This is like the main, can you actually see that? Yeah, this is like the main function that does it. I'm basically processing all the packets. Hopefully it's not reversed. Looks reversed on my phone. We'll see how it turns out afterwards. So for every packet that I uh, listen to, that I hear, I'm checking if it's in the ignored devices list. The idea being that some devices might come up so often that I just want to ignore them. Maybe it's from another art installation or maybe it's some kind of network that's always there. Uh, the next thing I'm checking is how many packets were observed in the last minute. So this essentially is a check. Maybe it might be one of the two criteria that I use. I'm thinking of either using the signal um, power or how many packets per second I see. Maybe even both of them uh, to detect when I turn off my art installation. So those are two things. And then the last thing, yeah, so I'm just basically checking for those things. Checking if it's ignored, checking how many packets per minute there were, and uh, checking the signal strength. So let's let's see how it looks like. So you can see that there's a device that's being triggered. I think it's my phone. You can see there's a device that's super, super close. I think I set the threshold to like minus 60. And so anything less than uh, 60, or greater than 60, sorry, if it's a negative number, will be shown up. And you can also see that there are a lot of devices seen around me. It's like uh, 60, 67 devices seen in the last minute. I'm like in an office building, so there are a lot of devices around. Uh, I'm also thinking of playing with that threshold just to make sure it's um, it's appropriate. Because right now it's set to 10 devices. That's what I assume I would see per minute in the desert. But maybe I need to play with that. So okay, so that's the first thing uh, that's being detected. So that's pretty cool. The next thing that I'm doing, um, once that's ready, I'm going to be playing a couple of sequences on um, the art installation. And one of the sequences that I'll have is a sequence of the sunset. So I got this video from YouTube. Uh, it's a video of the sunset. <laughs> it's just like an hour long video. It shows the sunset. And what I did, I downloaded this video. So I have it here offline. And then I cropped out just the part where you have the beautiful, the gorgeous colors of the sunset. So I just cropped that out. Then I took individual screenshots. You can see these are individual JPEG images. I have like, I don't know, 500 of them. And then what I did for every single individual image, I'm gonna be processing them to identify the three most brightest colors, the most common colors. And I'm doing it with this thing here, with this code. Um, essentially, I'm importing an image, I'm identifying five clusters, um, and I'm showing the color code in hex, as well as the RGB values of this color, and uh, yeah, like from zero to, to 256. Then, what I'm doing is I'm uh, taking these values and I'm putting them into this little snippet of code. This one actually controls the LEDs, which are right here. Those are the same LEDs with the same Wi-Fi controllers that I'll be using for the installation at Burning Man. And um, yeah, they're basically controlling, this little snippet of code controls what color I have. So say like I wanna have completely blue, I can put 255, zero, zero, push enter, and you can see they're completely blue. Um, yeah, and it's all over Wi-Fi, so it's pretty cool. Um, however, I noticed a problem, which is annoying. 
So over here, I'm getting the values from the image and they're good values. Like if I take one of these hex codes and I put them into Google, you'll see that the color looks really nice. Like this is a sunset color, you know? Take another one. It's also a sunset color. Like these are gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous colors. But I take the same color. So I see this one, the C29 DC2. And I copy it over to my uh, LED code. See, I haven't automated this part yet because I'm still playing with it and it's not quite perfect. So I might have to play with it a little bit more. Press enter. And like it gives me this and like I don't know if you can tell from the camera but it's essentially white so it doesn't look that well and that's kind of like the roadblock I'm at right now um, I guess I'll have to solve that next thing that I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be building like a, a little prototype so I welded together this piece of metal it's a huge solid chunk of steel there's a little wooden back plate and then a super super nice LED diffuser see it diffuses LEDs really really well um, I'm gonna be putting that all together to show a little demonstration of how it works um, and yeah and Burning Man is like two less than two months away so really exciting things up ahead thanks for watching